You guys, this is beyond overdue, but I was going through my comments on my YouTube videos and someone was like, well, where is she now? And it was on, I think my new grad ER residency interview video tips, stuff like that. But want to update you guys on, there have been so many life changes, but three of the biggest life changes that have happened since I have last talked to you guys. So number one, gosh, where do I even start? Okay, we'll start with what happened first. So one of my last videos was saving $10,000. I think it was back in June of 2020. I uh, had my ER residency was delayed. We were supposed to start in June. Um, we ended up starting in September of 2020. One of my main goals was to buy a home. Um, so I started with paying down my credit card debt and saving 10 grand was the big number I was aiming for, for down payment on a house. So November of 2020, we closed on our first home which I'm sitting in right now and doing this update with you guys has literally just brings back all of the memories and how like excited we were, how excited we still are, but like with life being so busy, it is so easy to overlook all that you've accomplished. And one of my biggest accomplishments is buying a home and having property in my name. And that has been huge, amazing. I've been promised, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know all the life updates that I'm about to give you, but I've been promising a home tour for the longest time and I'm like, ah, I just wanna make sure that it's clean and perfect before I show you guys everything, but this is my home. I'm sitting at my kitchen table. Kitchen, living room is a disaster, but I promise there will be a home tour coming soon. We already have a list of so many things that we want to do and change and add onto our home, but we're just honestly so blessed to be in this home. And I cannot believe that I was 20, 25 when I bought my first home. So that was November. Fast forward, you know, we're still in the thick of COVID. Um, Fast forward to, I'm about to sneeze. Okay. Someone who came with us is my fiance's dog. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I just gave it away. So number two, I got engaged. We got engaged late February. Um, but someone who came with us to our home is my fiance's dog. So I'm sneezing a lot. Allergies are pretty bad. I'm allergic to dogs and basically everything else, but his dog lives with us and it is now our dog. Um, I can't believe I gave it away. I wanted to be like, ta-da, but I'm engaged. He proposed in, oh my gosh, I think it was February 28th. I'm terrible for not remembering the day. Um, he proposed, I feel like, I kind of knew it was coming. We had talked about it. I had picked out my ring. Um, and I'm like, okay, we're, we were, we're ready to start our lives together. Um, some people think that it's weird that we moved in together, bought a home first and then got engaged. But you know, everyone's timeline is completely different. Um, so I am in the wedding planning process. So I have not picked a venue. Um, we've kind of sort of set a budget, um, which will lead me to like further life updates, but we've kind of sort of set a budget for our wedding. Um, we know that it's going to be about 200 people, which sounds like a lot, um, but I've got a pretty big family and he's got um, his entire family, like extended family. They're all very, very close. Um, so we all want them to be there. We've toyed with the idea of a destination wedding, um, but my grandmother and his grandmother, um, two of our grandmothers who are still alive, we really, really, really want them there. And they are getting to the age where we're not sure 
if they would be able to travel if we did do a destination wedding like Mexico or anything like that. So we decided against a destination wedding, you can see Leia, our pup, the pup, our pup, um, walking back and forth. Um, I just got home from work, so I let her out to kind of roam around. Um, but we both want our grandmothers there and that's very important to us. Um, so we are going to most likely be getting married here in Texas. I've made a list of venues. Some of the venues are just like outrageous. I'm talking like $14,000 for nine hours on a Saturday. That is insane. So if you guys have any recommendations of wedding venues in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, please let me know. We're willing to drive a little bit further out, um, but not something so far that there won't be any hotels. I've been a nurse in the emergency department for a year. Um, before that, I was an ER tech for two years. I've done med surge as a patient care technician, nursing school, all of that process. My healthcare journey has been like so extensive and has taken me so many places. Um, I'm not gonna get emotional, gross. Um, but I cannot believe that I've been a nurse for an entire year. I don't even know why I'm crying right now. Um, I've been a nurse for an entire year and something that recently happened was that I quit my job. Yeah. So my NCLEX videos have become very popular. My ER nurse interview video, um, very popular. Um, but I put in my two weeks notice, um, I guess maybe, I think it was on September or October, what? Yeah, I put in my two weeks notice on September 6th. Um, I finished, we had a one year new grad residency program. Um, I feel like a lot of people that I worked with um, and a lot of people who I talked to on Instagram, interact with there, um, know that for a while I was unhappy. Um, I didn't know if it was, I felt stuck. Um, back and forth with compensation and how much we were getting paid. Um, just like a lot of things, but that place was home for me for a very long time, um, almost three years. It would have been three years in November um, that I had been working at that facility. And when I put in my two weeks, I was super excited, couldn't wait. And I was like, ah, oh, finally, like I won't be a staff nurse anymore. This is crazy. Um, but as the days got closer, I was super sad to leave people that I have worked the entire pandemic with. And there's just like a bond that you create um, in nursing in general um, and the people you work with in healthcare. Um, but in the ER during the pandemic, there's some things that you see with your coworkers that it's completely unexplainable to your family, your husband, your wife, anything like that. And it broke my heart to leave. I cried every day. I'm like still tearing up about it now. But um, my last day was September 20th. And today I just got off of my orientation for travel nursing. So first contract, um, I'm doing a local contract. So I'm not further than 50 miles from my home. Um, I wanted to start somewhere close, somewhere where I knew people um, who were working there or traveling there. Um, and it is just, it's a shock to the system. I don't think it's actually like set in yet. Um, so we just did like our kind of a little bit of orientation to the charting system we're using. It's a different charting system than where I came from. We used Epic where I came from. Here they use Cerner, which is a little older. Um, I've been told it's similar to Medhost, if that's something that you guys use at your facility, um, but I've never used Cerner before. We did a little bit kind of overview into that. Um, we got a tour of our department, which I think I underestimated how comfortable I was at my other facility. Like I knew where everything was. I knew where all the rooms were. There was no confusion and like what pod and the ER I was in. This hospital is a lot smaller um, 
and their emergency department is broken up into different areas. So much so we got like a cool little earpiece to wear, which if you guys wear earpieces in your department or at your facility, like that's awesome. I don't know why we've never thought of it, but we have earpieces and a two-way radio. Um, but just walking in and being like, oh, like this is really happening. I am not working with a bunch of people that I know. I am like so grateful that um, one of my friends that I worked staff with at my other facility is there as a traveler. And then one of the old travelers at our old facility is now there as a traveler as well. So I will have just like someone I can go to or like talk to about work and stuff like that. Um, but it's definitely a big jump. I think my biggest concerns are just not knowing where everything is, not knowing the people, um, how they interact with each other. I'm very, I feel like I'm very open and outspoken and I don't know, once I get comfortable, like you'll have to tell me to shut up, otherwise I'll keep talking, but <sighs> more to come on that. We did like glucometer trainings, just like we did an EKG test, just very basic things. Um, and then tomorrow night, I'll be working night shift. Um, tomorrow night will be my orientation night on the floor. And then my first shift on my own is Thursday night. Um, so some places do two nights of orientation. Some places do one. I'll be doing one night of floor orientation. Then I'll be out on my own. Um, so I'm excited to see where this journey takes me. I can't wait to keep you guys updated and I promise I will keep you guys more updated than I have been. I feel like I've been caught in a whirlwind of life changes that uh, kind of just has thrown me for a loop and I cannot believe it's all happening. So bought a house, got engaged, did my full year, started travel nursing and it's all just, it's all just looking up from here. So I hope you guys are great. Let me know what you want to see next. There will be a home tour very soon to be completely honest some of our upstairs rooms are not even unpacked yet um but i will be getting to that and then the motivation will be to show you guys um but thank you so much for sticking around um let me know what questions you guys have i'm tr navigating this whole travel nurse thing on my like in general on my own um but let me know what questions you guys have and i'll try to answer everything to the best of my abilities but I love you guys so much. Thanks for hanging in there with me.